That was such a good reveal when it was, you just saw Nell and then it was like, come home. Great stuff. The Haunting of Bly Manor is Mike Flanagan's follow-up to The Haunting of Hill House. And while the second season of the Netflix horror show tells a completely different story with all new characters, Bly Manor does feature a ton of great Hill House Easter eggs that you may have missed. When Danny first arrives at Bly and meets Flora, the young girl tells her new au pair, You expected. Not only was this phrase one of the taglines for the show's first season, but in Hill House, You're Expected is also the last thing Olivia says to Nell before luring her downstairs and ultimately to her death. You're expected. So if you didn't already suspect that Flora was possessed by a ghost, that line was probably the first big red flag. This one might be my favorite. Bly's extravagant door decor is also likely a subtle nod to our other favorite haunted house. All the doorknobs at Hill House are decorated with lion faces, including the one to the red room, which was also spotlighted in the show's opening credits. After watching Hill House, it's hard not to look at the two gold lion knockers on Bly's front door and not see them as a bad omen of all the terrors within. When we see flashbacks to Miles' time at boarding school, we learn the reason he was sent home. It turns out that Miles receives a letter from Flora with a single message written in crayon, come home. Fans of The Haunting of Hill House will remember a very similar crayon message that was written under the wallpaper for Nell. That was such a good reveal when it was, you just saw Nell and then it was like, come home, great stuff. While sitting by the bonfire after his mother's funeral, Owen tells Hannah, I'm untethered now whether I like it or not, before asking her to join him in Paris. Though Owen and Hannah's romance never gets fully off the ground in Bly, his reference to being untethered recalls how Hugh and Olivia's romance was described in Hill House. Hugh told Steve that Olivia was the kite and he was the line, and without him, Olivia would become untethered and float away. And if Peter hadn't stolen the chance from them, we think Owen would have made a great kite to Hannah's line. When Hannah returns to the memory of the bonfire later, she and Owen struggle to complete the thought of what our moments are supposed to be like, but fans of Hill House already know. As the ghost of Nell told her siblings, our moments aren't laid out like dominoes, but instead fall around us like rain or snow or confetti. This reference to this moving sentiment not only strikes a tender note in Owen and Hannah's conversation, but also helps contextualize the episode, which tells a non-linear story as Hannah moves through different memories throughout her time at Bly. During Hannah's emotional spotlight episode, both she and Miles liken their experiences to having the strangest dream. In Hannah's case, this refers to her growing realization that she's dead and therefore slipping in and out of memories, while Miles uses it to refer to being tucked away while being possessed by Peter. But the phrase is also a callback to Olivia's equally tragic episode of Hill House, where, much like Hannah, she begins slipping away more and more. Before leaving to go to India with Dominic, Charlotte stops by Henry's office to say goodbye and officially end their affair. Charlotte apologizes to Henry for not telling him he's Flora's father, before making it clear that she is determined to make her marriage and family work. She tells him, I can fix it calling back to Hugh's common refrain in Hill House, where he insisted he could fix everything, like the decrepit walls, the model house, and even Olivia's death. I could fix it. And much like Hugh, Charlotte also isn't able to fix the things she wanted to, since she and Dominic are killed while traveling abroad. In order to convince Miles to invite him in fully, Peter promises Miles will be tucked away in the forever house with his dead parents. Hill House viewers will remember Olivia's plans to build a forever home for her family after she and Hugh were done flipping. In the end, Hill House became Olivia's forever home, but Miles was fortunately able able to escape a similar fate thanks to Danny's sacrifice. When Peter is stuck in his recurring memory of his mother showing up to blackmail him, she alludes to being well after leaving what is presumably a rehab center. While this Easter egg may be a bit of a stretch, seeing an addict manipulate a family member while referring to getting well is far too similar to what we saw Luke do in Hill House for this to just be a coincidence. Only Luke's idea of getting well was making his sister buy him heroin before going to rehab. That was so sad. That was so tragic. And like, yeah, like having Oliver in both of those scenes like there is no way that that was not on purpose right before miles allows peter to possess him fully peter promises miles that nothing sad will ever touch you ever again this mirrors how olivia justified her own attempt to kill her children luke and now telling hugh that once they join her in death nothing bad will ever touch them ever again of course as hugh pointed out nothing good will either a sentiment which also rings true from the fate peter had intended for miles it's like basically being stuck in the Matrix, but not as cool. You know I want to live in the Matrix. After Danny invites Viola to possess her, freeing all the ghosts at Bly, Hannah asks Henry to pass on a goodbye to Owen. She ends the message by saying, the rest is just before being cut off. But we didn't need Hannah to finish the sentence to know she was calling back to Nell's message to her family. The rest is confetti. Many years after Danny invites Viola in, the lady in the lake slowly starts to take her over. Danny resists as long as she can until one night she has a dream where she reaches up through the water and chokes Jamie, only to 
to wake up straddling her wife with her hand around her throat. This is an echo of a moment in Hill House when Olivia had begun losing herself to the house more and more and woke up straddling her husband with a screwdriver to his throat. While Olivia and Danny were both able to resist killing their spouse, sadly neither of them survived much longer, eventually succumbing to the calls to join Hill House and the Lady in the Lake. Let us know what other Easter eggs you noticed in the comments below.